right, so as you can see from the title, I'm pregnant again. Um, this will be my fourth pregnancy. I have a 10 year old. I have a, Lord, I can't even remember. I have a 10 year old, I have a five year old, and I have a, a two year old. See, that's how you know I don't need any more kids. So, um, yeah, I just wanna share my journey with y'all because this will be my last day. So, um, yeah. Um, just gonna run through this because I myself can't believe it. So, here we go. The first sign, um, last month, I was a little late on my period, you know what I'm saying? So, um, my period was replaced with spot. And at this point, I was just glad to have any sign of blood. So, I accepted that once. I spotted for those little two, three hours. Yes, that was it, two, three hours. And it was light pink blood. But in my mind, I don't want any more kids. My husband wants kids, but I don't. So, in my mind, I just, I just took it and ran with it and accepted it as my period. I didn't think nothing of it after that. So, um, after that, I noticed that I was tired, like, all day. Like, this is a couple weeks after that. I noticed that I walked down the street to take my kids to the park, because we have a park in our subdivision. I walked them to the park exhausted by the time I get there, and it's literally, like, two blocks away from my house, because it's in the same subdivision. It's not very far. I would get tired from just doing that. I never take naps. I noticed that I was taking naps. My son goes and takes a nap at 1.45. One day, I just looked at him and I was like, okay, he's taking a nap. He's taking a nap too, I'm tired. I don't know why, because I hadn't did anything all day. Right, I took naps with my son at 1.45. I never take naps. It's just not in me because being a mom of three and we have a huge house that I have to keep up with, it's just a lot of moving around, upstairs, downstairs, laundry, cooking, breakfast lunch, dinner, laundry, it's it's a lot. Um, I had a play date with my friend and her kids and we started discussing, you know, what we were gonna cook for dinner. So she was like, she's cooking chicken and something. I was like, chicken, you cooking chicken? I instantly wanted to throw up, disgusted. I didn't like the sight of chicken, the smell of chicken, the look of chicken when you cut it, nothing involving chicken. So, um. She started talking about chicken. I'm like, you know, stop. I'm like, don't say anything about chicken. She's like, do you like chicken? I was like, at this, after that, I was like, you know, I need to go home. I'm really tired. And keep in mind, it's past my nap time because I just started taking naps, right? So, um, let's see. Um, I go home and I fall instantly asleep. Like, and my husband's a truck driver, so um, I didn't want to tell him what was going on with me at the time. I just told him that I wasn't feeling well. So um, the next day, I mean, I sat on the couch maybe for eight hours to nine hours straight from about one o'clock, I would say to 10 o'clock at night. And I can only remember using the bathroom once. I was scared to drink anything. I was scared to eat anything. I was scared to do anything involving food because I just felt a feeling that I hadn't felt since I was pregnant with my son. And this feeling is called nausea. So um, women who have had babies before, you know what I was dealing with. I back, I ran to the store. He asked me what I was going to the store for. I was like, ah, I'm going to get some lady products. So he didn't ask anything after that. So I came back and he helped me with the bags because he knew I wasn't feeling well. So I got like this big bag of toilet paper so that he couldn't see the pregnancy test that was underneath because I wanted to take it. You know, I didn't want to let him know or let him think that I was pregnant and I wasn't, you know, because he really wanted another baby. So I wanted to eliminate pregnancy as being my issue. So um, he found it, he placed it on the counter. He didn't say anything. He knew my feelings about me not wanting to have no more babies. So he placed it on the counter and whatnot, and I laid down and I avoided taking this test for about two days. It sat in that same spot and nobody touched it, nobody mentioned it for two days. So after feeling like crap, I just really wanted to know what's wrong with me because you never know something could else have been wrong with me. So I, um, well, I hadn't took the test to eliminate pregnancy because if I wasn't pregnant, then I definitely needed to go to the hospital because I was feeling very, very sick. Took the test <laughs> and um, immediately two lines popped up. 
when I say immediately, I mean immediately. The two lines popped up so quick, I couldn't even flush the toilet in time. Because I, you know, I'm just staring at it. I peed in the dark, I peed on the stick in the dark because I ultimately did not want to know the results. As I got ready to flush the toilet, I said, you know what I said? I said it and he heard me say everything, all right, you okay? So I just was like cussing, like I was just tripping. The last pregnancy, I didn't want any more kids after that either, um, honestly. Um, Cause you know, I wanted to get my career started. I wanted to finish up co college because I'm, I'm going for my bachelor's in business management. And I just wanted to get my life together. It's still a lot on me right now. But um, yeah, um, I had a nervous breakdown. And that's another reason why I wanted to wait until my husband got home to take the test because I knew, I know when I have a nervous breakdown and when I find out something, usually it's only during pregnancy. I not want to cry. It takes a lot for me to cry. Um, usually when I have a nervous breakdown, I hyperventilate. And um, I have childhood asthma and can sometimes be triggered if I'm like very, very upset. So after crying in my husband's closet, and then in my closet, and then on the bed, and then outside to catch some air, and then back on the bed, I started to have to get away, and he had to calm me down because I was just, <laughs> like, literally, like, tripping. So, after calming down, he knows not to talk to me when I'm going through an episode, or when I'm mad, he just allows me to calm down, and then he talks to me, so. After I calmed down, he pretty much was like, um, so what do you want to do? I'll, I'll support you either way. I said, well, what do you want to do? And that was the honest conversation. And he was like, well, if it's a boy, I want to name it such and such. So I was like, okay, so we're not going to do the unthinkable. And we're going to keep this baby because it was a blessing. And because, you know, it's funny because before this, happened I asked the God to you know send me a sign send me something to motivate me because throughout my school work I'm almost completely getting my real estate license um throughout all of that I just felt unmotivated for a long period of time or um, from now on I'll just be updating y'all on what's going to be going on with this pregnancy um I downloaded my pregnancy app and that's too much you gotta download a pregnancy app to keep track and even after my this being my fourth pregnancy, it's like I still don't know what's going on because every pregnancy is different. I will say that. So, um, yeah. Um, welcome in the fourth and wish me luck.